Let's get down to business! This special presentation of XCC TV is brought to you by SupplyMMA.com, the leader in MMA fight gear and apparel. We're moments away from the main event, a heavyweight bout between Bikini Dave Walker and Mike 300 Hayes. You can join us for XCC Road to Victory the first Thursday of every month here at Station 56 in Tacoma. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster for our December 6th event. Log on to Ticketmaster.com because you don't want to miss this night of knockouts and tapouts. Let's take a quick look at some highlights from earlier in the evening. This is Colby Hoffman with Twin Dragons fighting out of Aberdeen, Washington versus Darren Gieschen fighting out of Kelso, Washington with Team Precise. This is an exciting fight. The guy stood up the first couple rounds. You can see Colby caught him with the right hand. Um, Gieschen able to fight off that takedown. Loses his footing here and then is able to actually shoot a nice double, elevate Colby, and then take him down. Uh, Colby with a nice front kick right there. The stand-up was uh, really good on Colby's side. Gieschen seemed a little bit off of balance and out of, out of whack. You can see Colby's straight right hands catch him on the button every time. Colby here in the second round pounds Gieschen into submission. Don't miss Colby. Always a crowd favorite here December 6th. Here's James Jackknife Morrell versus Taylor Roberts. The crowd definitely got their money's worth on this fight. Three straight rounds of non-stop action. This was a 170-pound qualifier for the USA MMA title. These guys battled to a draw, so be here December 6th to watch them rematch for the 170-pound title fight. Here's the fight we've all been waiting for, the main event. Bikini Dave Walker versus Mike 300 Hayes. This is the most anticipated fight of the night. Hayes is known for his big heavy hands and Walker known for his big throws. Here's a classic example of a wrestler versus a boxer. What's that going to mean in the cage tonight? Well, look for uh, Hayes to throw big heavy punches. And when he breaks posture, uh, expect Walker to change elevations, shoot in, try to get a body lock and throw him. If this fight goes to the ground, I'm going to give the advantage to Walker for being a good wrestler. He'll be able to keep in his hips and ground and pound. Here comes Bikini Dave to the cage with his entourage. Dave's uh, coming off of a big win, fought down in Kelso, Washington, and uh, he's on fire right now. His gym's excited. He trains out of the Victory Athletics camp with Dennis Hallman. You can see uh, all of his training partners. Hayes fights with the White Buffalo Warriors. And he's coming off of three straight wins, two by knockouts and one by a TKO. This fight's scheduled for three three-minute rounds. What are some of the other rules and how are these guys going to win? Well, you can win by a referee stoppage. Uh, your corner can throw in the towel. You can tap out or you can get knocked out. Um, some of the illegal moves, there's no intentional groin shots. You cannot attack um, the top of the head or the spine. You cannot kick a downed opponent in the face. You cannot knee a downed opponent in the face. And there's no point of the elbow strikes. And obviously no biting or eye gouging. Yeah, and they implement these rules to keep the fighters safe, and they've turned it into a sport. Um, got three judges. It's a 10-point must system. Um, this is the fastest growing uh, sport in the world. Exciting. I'm, I'm glad to see all these people out and participating, and uh, hopefully they'll all be back here December 6th. It's fun that you can see it on a local level right here in Tacoma. Well, the neat thing about this local level is uh, we have some of the best fighters in the world come out of Washington. Obviously, Randy the Natural Couture, um, Maurice Smith, Jeff Munson, Dennis Holman, um, Benji Raddick, Bad Brad Blackburn, and uh, Josh Barnett. And here we go with round one. Nice inside leg kick by Dave. Another kick by Dave. Tries to shoot in. Uh, good defense takedown by Mike. Dave tries to throw there, ends up on his back. Not a good position to be in, but able to work back to his feet. Mike works through a guillotine. Good action so far. Kind of a feeling out process, throwing some jabs, finding their range. Dave trying to shoot in. Got some over-overs, tries to throw. Good action here. Misses with the uppercut, misses with the right hand. You can see that, uh, you know, Hayes definitely has his boxing skills. What does Hayes want to do here? Hayes wants to keep his distance and find his range and uh, use that jab to, to set Dave up and uh, catch him with the right hand. Um, Dave's doing a good job at using the fence and uh, pinning him up against there. He's trying to reach down, grab the legs. Um, he needs to kind of fight in from his underhook so he can get, the, get that inside body lock. Nice right hand there. See how he, uh, he throw a right hand and then change the elevations. Now he's trying to lift. Um, but you can see how big Hayes is. It's kind of difficult to lift 
You know, 265 pound man who's trying to fight back. That's a big weight to throw over your shoulder. It is. It is. These guys are doing good. It's kind of like, uh, you know, no one's really had the advantage here yet. Nice knee that missed. You can see what uh, Dave's doing here is he's got that body lock and he's trying to uh, he's trying to set up a throw. You can see how he's adjusting his hips here. He's using the cage, looking for that leverage, and uh, he's probably trying to set up a throw right now. Walker doing a good job. Yep, there's the throw. Nice, nice belly to back there. Walker ends up in a side mount now. Yep, he needs to step over. He needs to take the right hand and push the knee down. Try to pass. Um, this could be bad for Hayes. Yeah, Hayes isn't, you know, Hayes isn't in a very good position right now. Uh, he needs to try to retrieve full guard. Uh, Walker needs to, you know, try to pass. He needs to either mount or side mount and then rain down some punches. It's kind of a stalemate here. Neither of, neither, uh, neither opponent is uh, throwing any punches. I'd expect the referee to stand that up here pretty quick. Walker needs to advance his hold. Yeah, he, need, he needs to advance his position, you know, or, or, you know, try to cause some damage by throwing strikes. There we go, the referee stands him up. That's definitely an advantage for Hayes. I would think so. But, uh, you know, Walker needs to use that position and throw punches and try to score and damage him. And that's the end of round one. Good round. I give that round to Walker. He had three big takedowns and a controlled top position. Expected to see a little more ground and pound from him, but 10-9, uh, Walker. What's Hayes hearing in his corner? I'm going to assume that his coach is, uh, you know, giving him some props on trying to keep the fight on his feet. He did a good job uh, on some of them takedown defenses, but uh, um, he's probably hearing, you know, find, use your jab, find your range. What about Walker? Um, Walker, they're probably giving him instruction on trying to get in a little bit deeper and uh, get his hips in so that uh, he can throw him. And then once he does get him on the ground, he needs to control that position. And uh, and, and he's got to pound him. He's got to punch him. He can't. This is not a wrestling match. You got to hold him down and hit him. We saw a couple of good throws from Walker. Here's a good belly to belly. Walker ends up right inside mount, which is the position he want, needs to be in. He needs to either, uh, you know, set up a submission or pound his opponent. Now let's go to round two. Look for these guys to, you know, come out and try to find each other's range. You know, kind of feel each other out and get, get the blood going again after that minute break. Nice right hand by Walker. It's good to, you know, kind of a different game plan come see him, you know, coming out and throwing punches. Oh, nice right hand by Hayes. Walker's in trouble. This could be it. This could be it. He's working. It looks like he's uh, he's back to his feet. He's got to keep his hands up. Way to keep after it. Walker gets out of it. Yeah, he, can, he gains his composure, shoots in a, a double leg right here. Another right hand. Look. I think Walker might be in a little bit of trouble here. Either that or he's just trying to, you know, gain his bearings. It well, looks like in his good safe place right now. Yeah, except for uh, here he goes, Hayes is taking his back. What Hayes needs to do now is try to get his hooks in and sink in for that choke. Hayes lets him back up. Good job by Walker. He's got his hands down, though. He looks like he might be in a little bit of trouble. He's taking some shots. Turn his back out, oh, caught him on the chin. That's it. Fight's over. Hayes knocks out Walker less than two minutes into the second round. There's that big right hand. Yep, comes over the top, catches him on the chin. Walker does a, um, Hayes does a good job to stay on Walker right away, keep that pressure on him. Uh, there again, hits him. And this is kind of where he's in trouble. He turned his back, caught a left hook, straight right, and then comes right over the top, catches him right on the butt, and you can see the, you know, one more time right here. Comes over the top, sets it up, boom, right on the chin. Yep. Wow, what an exciting fight. Hey, thanks for joining us here at the XCC TV. We'll see you December 6th here at Station 56.